Okay, we're live. And... Ready to bring you the rest of the dollar store stone necklaces. They will be up for purchase after this video. So pick your favorite. And if you get more than one, the shipping goes down to almost nothing for the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So, oh, let me plug in. Here we go. There we are. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's plug this camera in so it doesn't die. Whoa. Let's get it situated too. So we don't get dizzy. All right. So here's one and we're going to make some more. Who's that? Baxter Monkey is here. Oh my goodness. Baxter Monkey, you're going to have to yell at some people. There's some people making mean comments on the on the last video. I tried to warn them, but they're going to have to endure your wrath. Hi, Mary. All right, let's do another one. Got this vintage bronze 20 gauge. The easiest way, if you can get a nice flat stone, even if it's round and it has no hole drilled, the easiest way is to just wrap it in this triangle. Just go wrap the loops around the edge, twist three or four times, wrap the loops around that edge, twist three or four times, wrap the loops back to the top. Oh, actually start with your bail, then do that. And then wrap around the bail and it's tight. Boom, this isn't going anywhere. Now you can do whatever you want. You can put some more patterns or you can just leave it. I'm just gonna go, just gonna do a real simple loop-de-loop. -loop. Maybe I'll do a double loop-de-loop -loop at the bottom. You gotta put a little more weight on the bottom if you are if you think like me, and you don't have to think like me. It's kind of scary if you do, but it's scary enough that I think like me. But that, that gives a little extra strength. Not that you need it, because this is the most foolproof. You could pretty much just wrap the top before adding these extra little patterns. But this allows you to have a little bit of a design, more than just the basic. But the basic is fine to, if you want it to look rustic. I'm going to show you because I'm just going to I'm going to do the same pattern right here and then just end it. Do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, one more little loop. So this one will be reversible. And boom, now we'll just wrap this a few times. Tuck it in. And now we'll take this other piece and just wrap it a little higher and that's it turn the bail fan it out a little and that's solid simple solid and it's reversible looks good on both sides 
Now you can tinker with these wires, try to make sure there's every little spot is tight. There's no loose spots, but that's solid. That's not moving. Pick a nice color cord. This is charcoal gray with antique brass. Let's, um, I think I have a better color, not a better color, but a more interesting color cord in here somewhere. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah. I just got these in. How do I describe my wrapped stones? Well, this is Sam, and this is Larry, so I can't tell you what the next one will be until he shows up and we ask him. Let's do green. Nice olive green. All right, there's a, what was that, Sam and Larry? Um, as long as they keep flying off of the Etsy, we will keep putting up stone kits almost daily. Yeah, the only time para wire really gets tarnished is if you have a ring or a bracelet that gets rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed. Um, it, the, then the, the coating comes off. But uh, necklaces and earrings are pretty safe because unless you're one of those people who rubs your necklace when you're nervous, like fidgets with it. Um, what am I doing? I was going to go get something. I can't remember what now. Yeah, I have to put on some bracelets. Otherwise, it just it just doesn't feel right. I'm showing too much skin. You know, I don't want to be one of those clickbait people who just makes you click on the video because you see, ooh la la, look how much skin is being shown. Look at that one. Why don't they have more of these in my dollar store bag? Oh, well. One is good. It's better than none. Let's get through some bright copper on this one. This is a fancy one. This one will be Daryl. This one I can go right up to the top, but this one almost has four corners, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a wrap around each corner. And that one is locked in, ready to go. 
everything is strong. I'm just going to stick to this pattern until I get bored of it. Actually, let's come around with both of these. Let's, let's make a double. Ah! That just slipped right out of my fingers. I don't know if I've ever done that before. This is a slippery stone. I've had a lot of slippery stones. That's never happened. I'm going to put this through here to loop it. Daryl, have you been oiling up when knowing? Daryl overuses that that um, hand lotion. Now we'll come up the back and we'll do the same pattern, but in reverse, like the crazy people we are. Daryl is regal and royal. Whoa, slipped again. Daryl, stop it with the hand lotion. Hello, hello. Look at this, I have golden cords now. Shall I use one? Or is that too bright? Let me see, I also have a, what else do I have as an option? I could do uh, this suede. Let's see, let you guys get a better look. Do a golden cord or suede. It's square suede. Vote now on your keypads. I'm real, kind of feeling the suede. 
Yep. Catherine voted first. She wins. Plus, she picked what I wanted anyway. So, if if she didn't pick what I wanted, I would have waited till the next person and then said, "Oh, that person wins." Got to get another suede. The, the chain on that one was messed up. All right. There's Daryl. There's a Daryl. Who is this? I don't remember these names now. I'm not good with names. Who remembers? Who remembers the names of each? This is Larry. Was this Sam? And they're all really the same pattern. Now we're going to do a, um, we're going to do a Different pattern. Mm -hmm. This one's even easier, sort of. Um, this is the easiest way to grab an oval stone with one piece of wire if you don't need it to be super fancy. You just you make the bale you wrap the arms around twist them wrap them around again twist them again and then lock them at the top and you're done boom wrap them around finish them off with a scarf and you're done look at that super simple but we have all this wire left let's have some fun so we can come across the top again like this Ooh, and then we can go across here and do another tri triple twist and twist three or four times, whatever you prefer. And then you can come up again like this. Look at that. Fun, right? And then you go, oof, come back up here and do another triple twist. And then you end it because now you're just getting greedy. Turn this the way you want, fan them out, and start to do the scarf. So I'm just tucking in one. That is tight. That's not going anywhere. Well, 
We'll go simple with this one, give them a black cord. This one will be called Rocky. Very original. So now we have a a Barber Rock Corvette. <laughs> Getting camera all of you. La da la da la da la da. I am a dollar store stone. 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 It's one three five seven. All right, let's move on. Ooh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Who's that guy? I think he is. All right. What color? What color? Let's do the vintage bronze again. I was watching this video. There was a uh, nope. Tatiana had to go back to Russia for a couple weeks. She's competing in the international bear wrestling competition. She's placed second last year, and she was really upset. So she was really trying to go get get her record back from 2014. Um, yeah. Uh, Uh, I was watching this video. This guy said, uh, I'm going to learn to play guitar in one week and see how far I get. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to do it for the video. Okay, sounds like he's not going to get very far. But he spent 13 years learning classical violin. 13 years learning classical violin studying correctly with the teacher and everything so now he's trying his hand at the guitar now anyone else would be like well that might give him a little bit of an edge and people were shocked that at the end of a week he was playing guitar about as well as a guitar student of three years after one week i wasn't surprised at all First of all, because it was a, a challenge for himself, he spent the entire week playing guitar. Not like half an hour a day like a beginner usually does, but literally like six, seven hours a day. Secondly, violin is the hardest instrument to play in the entire orchestra by many accounts. Guitar is one of the most versatile instruments. It sounds amazing, has so many uses. But as far as difficulty, it's like 
20% as hard as a violin? I mean, it's like basically learning to ride a bike and then trying to ride a bike with training wheels after you already know how to ride a bike. That's what it's like going from violin to guitar. So why am I telling you this story? Well, you push yourself to get really good at any, any medium of art. And you will find it does not matter what the next medium is you try, you already have a head start over those who have never tried to do any art. Now, most of you listening are nodding, and you know this already. Maybe there's somebody out there who's a little discouraged, and they're like, I'm really good at this, but I really wish I could do that. That would be really good. I don't know if I could do that. They're really good at one kind of art, and they're like, but I don't know if I could be really good at this other kind of art. I spent like 10 years learning the first kind of art. I don't know if I have that kind of time to put into the second one. Well, now you know you might not have to put in another 10 years or even five or even three. You might pick up that new medium faster than you can imagine. And you might say, wow. I am amazing myself. Now this, this uh, stone is quite regal, or so he thinks, so we're going to call him Alexander. We're going to call him Alexander the Gray, because he's a little bit tan, a little bit brown, and a little bit gray. We're going to give him a nice dark brown cord. water break. You can go to Etsy right now. Um, these stones are not up. They will be up after the video, but there are, I did put up a bunch of other pieces in the last day or two. And I put them up for very low prices. Those uh, shrink film glass, acrylic glass pieces are up. Those earrings, pretty low priced. 
You can be the first to get those. Look at somebody bought me some markers. This is where you want to go. All one word. No spaces. I get my stones from Baxter Monkey. Well, these ones came from the dollar store, though. I'm going to do a lot of vintage antique bronze because I don't think I did any in the first 50 that I did on Sunday. So it's a really good color, really nice rustic color for a stone, especially a dollar store stone. So, like, you can, if you know some uh, rustic people who like to go on hikes, maybe you're a rustic person who likes to go on hikes, take this stone with you, hang it up, put a little tack or a nail on your wall and hang this stone up and remind yourself this will be your hiking necklace. And every time you see it, it'll remind you that you need to go do some hiking and it'll help you get your exercise in. You'll wear it on the hike, you'll feel rustic, and then... You will hang it back up when you get home. And it'll make you feel like not only did you uh, have a cool necklace and represent cool style in the woods, but you got your exercise in. This is going to be a simpler version of what I just did. You don't have to do all those wraps going back and forth and back and forth. You can just do a couple like this, and that works too. This one is uh, Jake. This one is called Jake. Sunday is going to be the big show. We're going to do semi-precious stone necklaces, real pretty wraps. A lot of the stones are going to be the ones you saw in the Baxter Monkey video. And you guys are going to get to purchase them. Not only you get the stone, you get all the pretty metal wrap and the chain or the cord. The whole thing is going to be 10 bucks. 10 bucks. It's going to be less than half what it should be.
Oh, well, hi, Renee. I'm going through it just splendidly. Uh, let's see. What shall we do for this guy? I think another black one is going to be good. I like to put the black with these simple ones. There we go. Six and let's go for seven. Actually, it's 57 technically. This is a little teeny tiny one. Teeny itty bitty tiny one. It's like barely the size of a dime stretched out. If you took two dimes and put them side by side but then smushed them together a little bit, like a Venn diagram, that's about the size of him. We're going to name this one Penny, even though I just said it's the size of a dime. This one's a girl. You can tell by the stripes. Say hi, Penny. Hello. Ooh, Penny's a little melodic. Hello again. Hello. Just called to let you know. I think about you all the time when it's cold outside. And da 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 da, hello. I'm going to give Penny the simplest of simple wraps. Because she's so little. She's so tiny. If we put too much metal, we'll cover up her completely. Then she won't be able to breathe. Now we'll give her a little, a little fanciness. We'll take, we'll take this side and pull it up to the top to anchor that top right away. And then we'll take this side and we'll come around, do something a little fancy. What shall we do? Come around here like this and then we'll take these And wrap them right here and make give her a little teeny tiny spiral at the top like like she's wearing a little bow like a little uh little flower at the top of her dress never thought to do that before with a stone but look at that see that And we'll wrap the scarf up. And give her a little frilly frill. She has to have a little something extra. See, she got a little frilly frill going down the front of her dress, like a little little frills like buttons. Just 
too much wire. I gave her too much wire. She's a simple stone. She doesn't need, she doesn't require a lot of wire. Ha! Ah, that rhymes. She's a small girl, and she doesn't require a while, because she know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the big spool wire. You can rely on the big spool wire. She's a small girl, and she know it's gone. She wants some little frills, because she know it don't matter anyway. Well, she's kind of a punk rock. Look at that. Look at that hair. Woo. Ooh, I'm going to move. There we go. That looks better. There we go. We got move this. There's little frills out where people can see them better. That's better. There we go. Let's tighten that one up a little bit. And that one. There we go. It's little little punk rock penny. Let's tighten this one right here. Let's put little frills in the back too. That's nice. Nice and tight there. There we go. And I think little punk rock penny needs a suede. Should we give her gold? It's time to break out the gold. Now that gold is too bright for these dark stones. Let's give her a nice suede. That's the broken one. There's a good one. Yeah, a bunch of broken ones. There we go. Yeah, that works. That works for a penny. Seven. Let's move for eight. This is Gordon. There we go, it's that little triangle. It's the easiest way to hold a stone still, if it has no hole.
No, that is really tight. Let's go under here. This is Gordon Roxy. And Gord Gordon Roxy is very critical of all the other stones and the way they stone. He calls them names if they don't stone right. He's a, a little bit British. That's pretty tight. All right, Gordon Roxy. What shall you get? He's a little, uh, he thinks he's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, high class. So he's, he gets a nice olive green. It's appropriate he looks like a potato because his name is Gordon Roxy and he criticizes all the other stones for how they cook potatoes. This is Bartholomew.
Now this one's, who did I say this is? This is Bartholomew. He's fancy. He has a sweater vest. Look at that. Bartholomew is so fancy. He's probably the most intellectual of all the stones. He doesn't like settling disputes with his with his stone knuckles he likes to use his brain Look at that sweater vest. That is, that is one regal looking stone. Look at him go. You go, Bartholomew. <clears throat> Bartholomew gets one of the thicker, thicker black. Cords. I try to offer him an olive green because I said it's more colorful. He was having none of it. He doesn't care about color. He wants he wants that sharp style. He says, if I have a sweater vest, I get a black cord. It's black tie affair. He's, he's dressed to go to a wedding. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And that should be good for tonight. This is Chuck. He's a simple rock. He just likes his uh his his beans and bacon and and his beer. It's Triple B. He's Chuck known as as Triple B Chuck. Bacon, beans and beer, that's all he needs. And his dog Buck. It's quadruple B. Quadruple B Chuck with his dog Buck. Everything works. It's a simple stone. He sits out on his porch and he, he smokes his unfiltered camels and stares up at the sunset and he says, Dog on it. Summer's going by fast. And his his wife his wife uh May comes out and she says, Honey, ain't you had enough? Ain't you had enough of your beer tonight? He says, oh, woman, why are you nagging me? I'm only on my third one. Besides, I ain't got to be up early tomorrow. She said, why is that? He said, because I took off, took the morning off because I have to take out the truck over to the mechanic. She said, oh, that's right. I, for, I darn almost forgot. So that's right, woman. See, I, I got it all figured out. I'm a simple rock. I live a simple life. That's why they call me quadruple B. All I need is my beans and my beer and my 
what else was it? My bacon and my dog Buck. And what about me? Don't I fit into that equation? No, honey, if, if you were a if you were named with a B, maybe, but you're you're May. That M just don't fit right. Oh shucks, honey. Well, you can just take my name May and throw the B in there anyway, and you can call me Bay. <laughs> that's a funny one, woman. See, that's why that's why I married you. It's for your your uh, sense of humor. It wasn't my strawberry curls. Well, I don't know. Definitely the sense of humor. Oh, I'm going to throw a dish towel at your head. See, Chuck and May, they live a simple life. Don't, don't have none of that worrying them city folks always be doing. Simple life, simple wife, simple dog, beans, beer, and bacon. That's the way. said, Chuck, if you're living such a simple life, why you got on that, that, it looks almost like you got a sweater vest like that last stone. He was thought he was all debonair and all that nonsense, and what you got dressed similar. He says, oh, honey, I just want to look good because they turned the camera on. This is the only sweater vest I own. It's not really a sweater vest. It's kind of a hybrid. Plus, it's got some, some moth holes in there and a, and a little bit of lint on the edge, but... Well, darn, sweetie pie, why are you going to be on camera be telling the folks all your business about how you got some, some moth holes and, and whatnot, like like your wife don't take care of you and none? Oh, shucks, May. They don't pay attention to none of that. I told you my new name was Bay. Whatever. Hey, by the way, where's where's uh, Buck? Is he around here? Roo, 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 roo. See that? My sweater vest's a little twisted up. It's not as regal as that other city city dude who thought he was so something special, didn't he now? Well, you folks done have a good night. Be on about your business. Thanks for stopping on by and seeing our little uh, presentation here. Oh, I heard there was a, an ending. What is happening? I, I need to 
make my final bow and let the people know where they can find me for further appearances. Dag nabbit, why you gotta be up in here? You weren't number 10, you're number 9. Get back over there. And but I am the most debonair. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get your little sweater vest, little elitist booty, and get yourself back in the number 9 place. Why, I never. I'm gonna talk to management about this. That's right. There we go. Ooh. Shall I be the last one to get the golden cord? Nah, that's too fancy for me. Look at that. Ha! Huh. Never. Never hear the end of it. Down, down at the mechanic shop. They'd be razzing me for 10 years if I wore that nonsense. I'm going to wear me a nice, nice, respectable brown. It's kind of like the overalls of cords. There we go. Okay, now as number 10, I know I'm not the, the fine talking type, but I happen to be in that spot, so I get to call out the others. And number 987654321, you may now appear before the camera to say good night to everybody. Good night, y'all. Good night. Who's messing up around here? Who's messing? Someone's, someone's messing up around here. Good night. Where's Penny? Good night, y'all. Good night. Ten points to anybody who can remember all the names. Because I can't. I don't even think I have them in any particular order. Definitely not the right order. I know I didn't start with these two. Yeah, <laughs> these three look similar. Anybody name them all? Whoa, Beverly. Anyone anyone want to check her math? See if that's right? My goodness. Zelina, that's right. Julio comes the next time. Well, my goodness. Y'all have a wonderful night out there here. Oh, look, we're right at the one hour mark. That worked out just about fine. That worked out just about nice. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Y'all be good out there. Take take care of yourselves. Be safe. Make sure you get plenty of protein. Lots of hydration. Make sure you get your little stretches in. Get them limbs moving. Don't let the concrete set in the joints. Get yourself plenty of rest and some sleep and some relaxation too. Make sure you get your little art projects going and you tinker and you make yourself some stuff and don't don't be hard on yourself. You say to yourself, self, I'm going to make something nice tonight and it don't have to be perfect. It's just going to be nice. And even if it's only nice to me in the tiniest little way, That'll be something better than doing nothing. Or watching them Friends reruns again. Oh my goodness, don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Or for some of some of you old timers, them, them um, what's called Charlie's Angels reruns. Don't be watching that. Mm -mm. 10 points gets you 10 points more than everybody else. That's a lot right there. We'll have to figure out what the point system means next time. Good night, y'all. Well, Scrimshaw Rose, you can go back. It's gonna, it's gonna process for about ten minutes, and then it'll start over. And you can go back and watch from the beginning. But Friday night, I'm gonna say hi again, and then maybe I'll stop by tomorrow night too. Maybe we'll stop by until I get this all of these done. But Sunday, we're gonna start with the beautiful stones, the real gorgeous semi-precious 
stones, and they're only going to be 10 for the necklace, although they should be 25, but we're going to have some of those beard airs, and you guys will get them. We'll wrap them in some silver and some copper and some black gun metal and all kinds of treats, some antique copper. It'll be Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 11 for you central folks, and that's 10 for y'all up in the mountain there, and that's 9 for you west coast hoity-toities out in the California, Oregano, and uh, Washington area, or uh, wherever you are in Canada or Mexico. And the rest of the world, with your other uh, 21 time zones, you got to do that math because I'm not into math. I'm into naming stones and then quickly forgetting what I named them. All right, have a good night. Good night, good night, good night.